Uh, we are beginning this year with the focus on altering the uh, start times. Uh, we've already emailed Dr. Daniels, or Dr. Daniel, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we've requested that he meet with us so we can discuss it. Like uh, Colleen said, we want to work together with you. Uh, so, thank you for that. Uh, there's already a lot of research out there, and uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of research out there about why we should have later start times. The CDC just released a report on why it would benefit schools, uh, both the environment in the school and uh, how it would affect the student's health. The second issue we want to tackle is the PART test. Now we do realize that your hands are tied and that there's not a whole lot you can do about that. But as we did say, we are a grassroots organization trying to alter education on a national level. Uh, the, the state of Illinois just spent 29.8 billion dollars on the PARC test and they just released the statistics from the PARC test and they aren't very good. Uh, I think it's 17% of students in high school only uh, met or exceeded the expectations and only about 30% exceeded them in English, uh, which is very poor and I think it shows that we need to alter the PARC test or straight up abolish them. Uh, the state of Illinois also spent $15,000 per student on the PARC test, which is very, uh, sorry, uh, they just spent $15,000 per student on the PARC test and a lot of the students didn't take them or didn't try on the park test because, of course, they weren't uh, mandatory. And uh, that also attributes to why the park test scores were so low. So I think uh, altering the park test would be very uh, beneficial. Thank you. Thank you.